What up YouTube? It's your boy Kind God King here with another video. I wanted to do a live video to see how it works and show you guys how I overclock my i7 7700K to 5 gigahertz. So there's the BIOS screen there and as you can see here this is the computer in question. You can see I'm running an ASRock Z270 Pro 4 there's a GTX 1080 there. So I wanted to show you guys inside the BIOS. So having a look here, you can see that it is a 7700K. Uh, it's at 4.2 gigahertz, which is stock. And the RAM is at 3200. So the first thing I'll need to do is select an XMP profile for the RAM, which is quite easy. You just select it. You got auto or profile one. We want profile one. For this one then we go to advanced mode up in the top right hand corner there now as you can see here it shows all the specs we want to go to OC tweaker which is where we do the overclock and what we're going to do is I just want to show you how easy it can be to hit this overclock so we're going to load a optimized uh, CPU overclocking setting so we will choose 4.9 gigahertz which is close to what I want and then I'll go into the CPU uh, configuration, which is here. And instead of 49, I want to change that to 50, which will in turn set it to 5 gigahertz. So if you see up the top here, I'm aiming for 5 gigahertz, which is on the left. Uh, 42, so 4.2 gigahertz will be what it will sit at before it boosts. And the RAM is running at the 39, uh, sorry, 3199 megahertz. Sorry, my camera's a bit shaky. I'm actually using my phone. Now that we've set uh, that to 50, which is the 5 gigahertz, we need to also change the vCore. And we do that by going to voltage configuration. And what I do is set a LLC of around 2, which should allow for enough power without any drooping happening. For the voltage, we will go with a fixed mode and we'll set that to about 1.385, which should be fine and not generate too much heat. And it's as simple as that. So I set the voltage, I set the core ratio. So 5 gigahertz is what we're aiming for. So we'll save changes and exit. As you can see, the PC will reboot. It should only take a second. It hasn't turned off, which is good. So that should mean that the overclock has taken effect. Okay, so it's just starting back up now. So it went straight into Windows, which is good. I'm running Intel Octane. Uh, so the boot up is extremely fast. And I'll just run a CPU Z so you guys can see live that it did work and I'm not just pulling your leg. Don't mind all the other shit that opens as well. So it says 4.3 here, however, it will boost to 5, and I'll run a test to show you that. If we have a look at the memory, it's running, it says 1600, which is actually 3200 once you look at it. What I might do is just bear with me for one second. I'm just going to open a sign bench so you guys can see how much it is actually on. Okay, so you can see it hit five there for a second. So it does boost to 5. So it sits at the 4.2 and boost to 5 when needed. So accept that. It's going to run the CPU test. You can see from all the other videos I've made, it saves my scores. Once it focuses. So the Ryzen 7 remains king for the processors that I have benched.
this one's just finishing up okay, it shouldn't be too much longer waiting 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 okay and we're done so it did show that it's 4.2 which is strange because it's a hundred percent of five <coughs> excuse me but that's how easy it was you can see that there it's gone back up to five the voltage is staying below what i said which is good if you guys need any help overclocking your uh 7700s let me know i will make some more videos thanks for watching let me know what you think of the live stream and see you later bye